welcome back to Cook with Nicole. I'm Caroline. Um, it's been a little while since I said hello, um, so I thought I would pop back on and make some pancakes because they are super easy to do and it's the right day to be doing it. Um, I've already made up some batter earlier, so I've got some ready to go. So I'm just going to make a small batch now, which is like half of the normal amount that I'd use. Um, so I normally use a kind of, I think of it as one, two, three, because it's the easiest way to remember it. Um, by the way, if you're watching, um, you can send me a message and I should be able to see if it appears on the screen. Um, nice to see you. Um, if you're not watching live, but you're replaying, then do a hashtag replay and then I'll be able to see it in. So in here, I've got um, 50 grams of plain flour. So normally I do 100 grams, which is the one, and then two eggs and then 300 grams. Um, mills of milk. I do 300 grams of milk because I weigh it. It's just the easiest way to do it. Um, and um, But I've got 150, so I'm doing half quantities basically because I've already got one and a half um, quantities in here. So I'm going to add, I normally add the milk, um, egg to the milk. And then I give it a kind of whisk up. Just give it a good mix. Um, you can add the egg right into the flour and then um, mix it from there, but this is the way I do it. Um, you know, each their own, really. Um, and then I add about a third of the mixture from the jug into the flour. And you basically want to whisk in out from the middle so that you're bringing the um, dry ingredients into the liquid. And you'll see it's just getting a bit thicker as we go and it's I suppose it's a bit like when you make a white sauce you want to just add a little bit at the beginning um, to get it smooth um, so now that's nice and smooth and then I'm going to start gradually adding a bit more of the milk so I'm just going to pour it in and then hold the bowl um, and that way you avoid getting kind of lumps in the batter Thank you, Jemima. Um, this is a super simple recipe. So it's literally 100 grams of flour, um, two eggs, and 300 mils of milk. Um, and it's a recipe I can basically make with my eyes closed and make it most Sunday and Saturday morning. So um, it's really easy and it makes um, kind of thin English style pancakes, uh, crepe style pancakes. So there's the batter. I'm not sure. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, it also you can make this in advance so I'm I've made up some already um, it, is, it does kind of fry up better if you leave it for a little bit um, to um, sorry I'm just turning on my pan because I forgot to turn it on earlier and actually hot pan is one of the keys to making pancakes work so I should have got in there earlier but never mind so I'm just going to pour this into the rest of the batter I made earlier and get that mixed up so this is almost full um, yeah I've been have been a bit quiet on here which is a bit silly of me really but um my I've had my ring light so I'm just moving you over to the other side of the kitchen by the hub um, I've had my ring light on the um, dining room table because um, when it's dark at night time, um, I need the light in order to take pictures of the food. And then I can't be bothered to move it back to the kitchen again, basically. I'm a bit lazy. So um, that's where I've, why I've not been on here so much. Um, but yeah, now I am just going to wait for this pan to heat up. I'm terribly sorry. I should have been more organised with this. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to serve with the pancakes, actually. So... Um, the kids will want things that are savoury, uh, sweet, sorry, but I've got some savoury bits that I'm going to put out as well. So I've got some slices of ham um, and some slices of smoked salmon. Um, and I've made up a little kind of yogurty, cream cheesy, dill, lemon dip, which or sauce, which will go with the smoked salmon. Um, and I've also, um, where has it gone? Here it is really thinly sliced some um, cucumber. So I'll pop that with the smoked salmon inside the um, pancakes um, and kind of roll them up so that, and with the um, dill sauce on the top. And then there's some, just some grated cheese to go with the ham as well. Um, it may be that my daughter will just have 
cream cheese and cucumber because that's one of her favourite kind of sandwich fillings. Sorry, the dog's um, scared of her own shadow. Um, and and we'll see where we go. But inevitably, we'll end up with Nutella and um, various syrups and um, uh, syrups and uh, lemon and sugar, which is obviously the kind of classic. So I'm just going to turn this down so you can see the pan. Um, so what I do with pancakes, I've now got, I say I've got, this is my daughter's pancake pan. Um, my sister asked me what she could get my daughter for Christmas, so I suggested the pancake pan. Um, we do use it together, but I do also use it myself. Um, so the pan, the key to a good first pancake is getting the pan hot. So this one may well not work because the pan is not as hot as it might be. Um, but what I do is I put a little bit of oil on the pan and then I use a bit of kitchen towel to wipe it around so that the pan is greased, but there's not that much oil on there, basically. And then I'm just going to pour it on, pour on the batter and give it a kind of swirl around um, so that it's a kind of even thickness. So there we go. So that's the first pancake. Um, as I say, often the first one doesn't work because... The pan's not hot enough, so I'm just going to, I will leave it for a little bit. Um, the, this is a kind of, this is a 30 centimetre pan. So the pancake mixture, the, the 100 grams, two eggs and 300 mils of milk will make around six to eight pancakes, depending on um, how thick you make them, basically. Um, so depending on the thickness of the, of the pancake, um, you'll get a varying number of pancakes from that, but generally it makes between six and eight 30 centimetre pancakes. Sorry about the uh, warring children in the background. Uh, we've had one in COVID isolation who's just gone back to school today, and the other one's now in COVID isolation, so that's really good. Uh, I'm having a fantastic time. So this one, as you can see, is still a bit pale because the pan's not heated up yet properly. Um, so I will cook this on this side um, and then turn it over again and cook it a bit more. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone is going to be enjoying some pancakes later. I'm going to get the kids up and see if they can do some flipping of pancakes. Um, I'll cook a few first so that there's something for them to actually eat um, in case they will end up on the floor. Um, but let me know how you get on. Let me know what you're having with your pancakes this evening and uh, have a lovely afternoon. Great to see you all. Bye.